college is beautiful. I just came back from college and today I had my posting on the ortho ward and we saw a lot of patients uh, who had different splints and we learned about splints and tractions and classifications. So that was what we did on ortho and today I have a lot to study. So let us get on with this episode of study with me season two. Here we go. My first target for today was ENT and the book that I'm using over here is actually Marrow Edition 5 Notes and I'm using this because I did not make any notes while watching the videos of year and so I set my first Pomodoro and start reading through the initial chapters of ENT where they talk about anatomy and embryology of how the ear and the components of the ears are formed. For example, the pinna, external auditory canal, tympanic membrane, the different bones inside the ear. If you didn't know, yes, there are bones inside the ear as well. A lot of that stuff in anatomy and embryology. My first Pomodoro just ended, it was 30 minutes. I ended up completing four small chapters that talked about the anatomy of how the ear is and how it develops, etc. Uh, what I'm noticing is there is a lot of vertical integration with anatomy and physiology. So if you're a first year student, make sure that you also read the anatomy of the ear, etc. because it's gonna come back to you in this subject. And if you don't know any of it, it will be a bit difficult. So let's just grab Gray's anatomy right now and all right, so it is over here. As you can see, this is the tympanic membrane, beautifully covered in anatomy. And this is ENT, where we talk about the tympanic membrane again. This chapter talks about the middle ear. That is essentially what we are going to study right now. Anatomy is beautiful. The marrow notes are really good because they have every single image that they have talked about in the video. This makes life really easier because visualization in an anatomical subject is the key to understanding. You can't really understand the structure of the middle ear if you don't see a diagram of it. And in marrow notes in every single page, I saw a diagram which pretty much summed up the entire information at once. completed the second Pomodoro of 30 minutes. It was great. And so at the total of 60 minutes, I have read nine chapters amounting to almost 45 pages. This is called as a dead cat. It is put on the microphone because to avoid wind noises. But in my case, I've run into an issue as you can see. I need to see the screen, but I also want to have the dead cat. So that's the problem. So before I get distracted again, um, let me just tell you what I did. I did the entire anatomy and embryology of the ear, which amounted to almost nine chapters. And now I'm gonna do the MCQs for those nine chapters. And I think that that should be consolidated in my mind while simultaneously also preparing my mistake book. So in the author posting in the morning, we were discussing about uh, splints, tractions, Coley's fractures, Castillo Anderson classification, and a few other things. And I need to just read that part up quickly because the usual thing what I do after posting is I read up whatever they have taught in our posting and that has turned out to be very fruitful that whatever you are being taught in the postings if you come home and read it it gets really solidified in your mind like I've written uh, ENT I had to read here in ortho I had to read whatever we are taught in the postings and last is PSM um, I guess we'll wait for the PSM part and look if we really want to do it afterwards. So far in the posting, we have done fractures, basic treatment and management of fractures, congenital telepathy quinovirus. Uh, we have actually seen a case on Thursday itself about CTEV. We have seen the different fixators and implants, the instruments. We have talked about splints, tractions. We have talked about osteomyelitis. So as you can see, a lot has been going on in ortho and each single day after coming home, I am reading whatever is being taught. Okay, enough talking. Now moving on to solving MCQs and then after that, reading slash watching orthopedics. That's right. Let's go. Hello, huh. I'm video. I'm Oh my god. Oh my god. Change of plans at 
turns out I've already attempted these modules. Now I'm just gonna skip over to ortho. Since my modules were already completed and I completely forgot about them, I opened up and watched a video from the bone teacher about the shoulder joint dislocation and the fractures related to it. After that, I opened up my laptop to see whether or not this video is possible to upload tomorrow and with a will, I went to the rooftop. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced with you Good evening everyone, I'm back on the rooftop because it wouldn't be a study with me video if I wasn't here. The sun is still very high in the horizon and I'm here to edit my video, this video actually, that I have to post tomorrow. So today is Saturday. Uh, I have been lazy all week, didn't do much work pertaining to YouTube because posting zags on and studies, these took up majority of my time. But yeah, that's the sun over there. Beautiful, beautiful. And I've got my laptop with the Osmo so that I could create a beautiful moving motion lapse for you guys. I just watched one lecture from Ortho right now. I'm gonna do the remaining two from Upper Limb later in this video. So I tried this experiment of uploading twice a week and last Thursday and the Thursday before that. And safe to say that the experiment hasn't been a great success because what I've noticed is that a lot of you people are busy on Thursdays. So I don't think I'm gonna upload on Thursdays any further because if you're busy then what's the point of me uploading if you aren't able to watch it so i completely understand that and it's okay a lot more content coming on sundays if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so because every single sunday i promise to make just a little bit better and oh my god there's a rainbow over there can you see that just as i said subscribe to the channel a rainbow came please consider subscribing all right now i'm gonna sit for editing it's around 5 30 ish right now and I'm so happy. <sighs> Look at this beautiful tree. This is also happy. Let's go. Why don't we go back to? Why don't we go back to your bed? I mean, this shot is just so good. If you haven't noticed, I have changed the speed repeatedly. So sometimes the cloud move fast, sometimes they move slow. I mean, I hope you like this. And just a small reminder, if you did like the rainbow, the shorts, etc., this coffee, please make sure to hit the like button because it boosts the video up in the algorithm. After that, I went on to complete the remaining two lectures of ortho taught very, very beautifully by our beloved Dr. Abbas Alisa. One of the main reasons I like marrow is they teach in a very practical way. And this is evident whenever you're doing any anatomical subject. So cheers to marrow for making it easier for us. Hi everyone, I just completed the upper limb unit from ortho. Uh, it comprised of three lectures starting all the way from clavicle, shoulder, humerus to all the way to forearm and then wrist and the entire phalanx etc. I've heard a lot about ortho being difficult to grasp etc. But personally I found it to be super awesome and I'm really excited to watch the lower limb class tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday so that means a very productive day. I'm sure it is for you as well. Abbas sir has done an excellent job at teaching especially with the demonstration of how everything is because not everybody remembers anatomy uh, properly and that really helps when you don't remember it uh, with all the x-rays and everything it has a lot of correlation with anatomy so if you're a first year student do, do read the anatomy part very very nicely all the nerves vessel etc sir again if you're watching this great great job i really appreciate it thanks for making such a complicated subject simpler for all of us and if he's watching he'll probably comment hoping that he does comment anyways now i'm tired with all of that you know ent editing ortho etc now i'm gonna you know refuel myself with the uh, food that humans eat then edit the video and probably upload it tomorrow in the morning psm aaj nahi kal karege hum all right let's go have dinner then 
All right, that's Ocean's Eleven, and after watching a bit of it, I went upstairs to edit this very video that I'm making right now. Anyways, the video is over. If you haven't guessed it already, please subscribe to the channel because it would mean a lot to me, and it would make up for all the time, effort, and energy that I put into making these videos. Apart from that, thanks for stopping by. It's your boy Anuj, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Stay here